Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And boy, oh boy, am I surprised, because my birthday is November 13th. I will be turning 21. Uh, I'm not just saying that to get a bunch of happy birthday things in the comments. However, thank you if you do. Um, I'm excited because I got Disney+. Plus. That video is coming also today. I also have... Uh, of course, my playing, I saw Playing With Fire, which is going to be out, uh, I just filmed my review, it's probably going to be out in a day or two. Really enjoyed that one, so go check that out. Also, Sonic the freaking Hedgehog, man. I am a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan ever since I was a kid. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan ever, but I really do enjoy playing the games, I enjoyed watching the animated shows when I was a kid. They're really fun, you know, kind of like Mario. You, you never grow out of it, it's for all ages, right? It's fun. But however, something happened a little bit ago this year that kind of effed with all of our hearts. Sonic the Hedgehog, the trailer came out, and I, honestly, I thought the trailer was good, okay? I did not hate it. I thought the tone was okay, Robotnik was cool, Jim Carrey was cool, the, the other, you know, Chris Pratt, dupe, whatever he was, he was cool, whatever. But Sonic the Hedgehog looked like ass. And I'm not just, and I'm talking about, like, good kind. It's like, poopy butt, butt. It's so bad, right? It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but when you compare... This <laughs> to okay, like there is such a difference, man. It's crazy, and it, just look what I just showed you: night and day, right? You get the beady eyes, the small baby eyes, the huge freaking legs, no gloves, complete garbage. To what we got now? When I first saw the original Sonic trailer, I said, "Wait a minute, that's Sonic." I mean, technically the the, the bigger guy. That's Sonic. Who is this guy? What the hell is this guy? You know, he doesn't look anything like Sonic. Now, again, I wasn't... Uh, the internet was going crazy over this, right? Oh, it's shit. Take it back. Better. But I was not a hater, right? I, I didn't like it, but I wasn't going to spout my mouth for an hour and, you know, biatch for an hour. But, however, what did we... This is something that we can all learn from this. Sega and Paramount Pictures saw our complaints, and they changed it rightfully so. Because the tone of this new trailer is amazing. By the way, it will be in the description below if you want to check it out. I'm going to have the old trailer and the new trailer so that if you want to do a little comparing yourself, you can. Uh, there are certain scenes in the old trailer and the new trailer that are certainly the same, but there's a little bit of different things. For instance, the scene where they're in the car together in the truck, uh, the male character, I don't even know his name, he's wearing a different shirt completely than in the new one. So th they probably did some reshoots, and uh, it, it pays off, man, for sure. It paid off so much. Sonic looks amazing. His eyes really aren't one big eye, and his arms are a little, uh, they're, they're, they're fur instead of, you know, like, skin color, but all that aside, it, it, it looks amazing, trust me, and I think the whole internet can agree, uh, they did a phenomenal job with this, and the, the new trailer looks great, too. I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really have any major complaints about the, the old trailer, however, upon watching this one, it's funnier, it's more alive, it has way more kinetic energy, it really has a Detective Pikachu feel to it, where it isn't an outright ripoff, but it's taking the best things from that movie, and they're trying to implement it into their own Sega, you know, Sonic universe. And it really works, I think. Um, of course, they have the, the occasional people who are going to complain, but opinions are opinions. I love this new trailer. Uh, it's way better than the first one. The Gangsta's Paradise is not blasting in my ear, thank God. Um, you know, so many good things in the trailer. You have great action scenes. The CGI looks better. The plot looks better. Actually seeing more, uh, more of Sonic, yeah, even if he looked like butt before... It would have been nice to see more butt Sonic than no butt Sonic. You know what I mean? Well, that sounds weird. But, you know, seeing the, the terrible design of Sonic in more scenes in that trailer would have helped, I think. Because there are a few shots in the old one where he looks fine. When they're in the truck, he's like, uh-oh, like that. He looks fine. And then, of course, when he, go, when he looks up, he goes, gotta go fast. And he's smiling toward the camera. That looks cool. The rest of it's pretty much dog poop. But this one is so lively. It just screams Sonic the Hedgehog. And this is exactly what we needed. Thank you guys for whoever did this. Paramount, Sega, um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for A, listening to people. Now, there are some things to, to keep in mind here. Just because a big, big amount of people are complaining about something does not mean we need to change it. Take Cars 2, for instance. Sadly, that happened. Everyone hates Cars 2, except me. So what are they doing in Cars 3? Oh, we don't even mention Finn McMissile or Holly Shiftwell or Professor Z or any of that shit. We're just going to go Cars 1 to Cars 3. It's just called Cars 3 because we had Cars 2 in the middle. And that's bad, in my opinion. The Last Jedi. I'm not going to talk about it forever. I will in December for Star Wars Month. However, everyone hates that movie except me and a few other people. I think The Last Jedi is one of the best films ever made. 
for many, many reasons, which I will get into in December. Um, and The Rise of Skywalker is not canceling that. It's staying in canon. Sorry, haters, but it's true. It's canon. Yay! So there's a lot of things that are that are with that. You know, again, just because people complain does not mean you need to change Disney. However, this time I think it worked because everyone, everyone hated it. I mean, when I hate something, it's pretty bad because normally I'm generally, okay, it's okay, you know, whatever, I'll deal with it. But that was like, no, that ain't going to fly with me. And uh, this this is flying for sure. It's it's so freaking good, man. Like I said, not only does the, the new Sonic design look good, but the, the new music, the new trailer, the new atmosphere, the new, you know, seeing the actors again in different scenes and just seeing Robotnik more, um, I think it's going to work. I really do. I think that they are, they are going to stick with some of the same, the, uh, now a lot of the things like the at the end of the Sonic, the first Sonic trailer, there's Sonic in the duffel bag, and a lot of people didn't like that scene. I thought it was funny. Uh, the scene where Dr. Robotnik in the first trailer is saying, he's like... He's like the and he's like you know nope no you're not you know that kind of that 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 scene um, whatever you know I don't know they didn't have it in the new trailer so maybe they changed it they might have taken it out or they're keeping it I'm not sure however going forward like I said change can be a bad thing uh, listening to people can be a bad thing but in this case the change and listening to people was a positive and good thing, in my opinion. Sonic looks fantastic. Good job to everyone who was involved. I'm very happy that you got to do this. And hopefully it makes the movie better. You know, hopefully with the, the uh, with these reshoots, of course, you can see, if, like, like I said, the links are in the description. So you can actually see um, certain shots are, are different. You know, when Sonic's screaming in the first one, ah, you know, it's completely different than when he's screaming in the new one. Now he's holding a little ring. And I had a big issue. Why the hell is Sonic's rings like Doctor Strange portals? You know, going like... Ooh. When a portal appears, you know, why would you do that? It's stupid. Um, but for some reason, whenever the new Sonic does it, I don't seem to mind that much. Maybe they're going to change the CGI. There are a few scenes in this movie. The CGI does look exceptionally better than what it was, uh, you know, the same scene in the original trailer. So going forward, I am very happy about the Sonic trailer. Again, I can't be reacting to it because my internet, my internet, my uh, editing software is pretty much off the rails right now. I can't do reaction videos as of yet. I'm trying. So sorry about that. I wanted to react to it and give you my thoughts. However, the old trailer, like I said, and the new trailer will be both in the description if you have not seen them, or if you want to rewatch them and again compare shots because there are shots to compare. Um, again, guys, going forward, I love this. It looks great. The tone is great. The music is great. The CGI looks better. Um, I think it's going to be a good movie. You know, a lot of people were pissed about Detective Pikachu. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Uh, Detective Pikachu was the first good video game movie to a lot of people. And yes, I'm sorry, I will say it, I loved Assassin's Creed with Michael Fassbender, Fassbender, whatever. I really enjoyed that movie. I have it on DVD and I watched it a lot. I think it's a good movie, sorry. Um, of course, Wreck-It Ralph 1 and 2, those don't technically count, but they are based on video games and they're video game films, so that, I don't know, if we, I don't know. it's kind of like a half and a half. But at the same time, Detective Pikachu is my favorite video game movie so far. Again, I really like Assassin's Creed. However... Detective Pikachu just blows it out of the water. It's amazing. The CGI is great. Again, I have a review on Pikachu if you want to see it, but that movie set the bar really high. Uh, the bar really high. And seeing the original Sonic, it was like, well, oh, this guy effed up. You know, sorry, Sonic. Pokemon did you out. But this time, it looks way better. And I'm really hopeful because not only do we have Sonic the Hedgehog coming out February 14th, Valentine's Day of 2020, we also have another big hitter that is a now Disney film that was Fox, Kingsman with The King's Man. So, um, we have two heavy hitters. We have The King's Man and Sonic the Hedgehog coming out on the same day. So I really hope that this... Uh, we'll have to see who does better, right, with the box office. I'm kind of expecting a King's Man. But still, I'm excited for King's Man and Sonic the Hedgehog, especially Sonic, now that this new trailer's out. Again, he looks great. Everything in this trailer just screams more alive, more kinetic, and just more exciting than ever before. So please tell me in the comments what you think about the new Sonic. Is it bad? Is it worse? Is it great? Is it the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Who knows? Um, I really enjoy it again, and I cannot wait to see Sonic the Hedgehog, and I will be reviewing it next year. Again, I love it. Good job, Sony. Or, Sony. Good job, Paramount and Sega. That's what I wanted to say. Good job, Sega. Um, you guys listened, and I think it paid off. So thank you, guys. Hope you'll enjoy the new Sonic movie, and the trailer looks great. Again, please tell me in the comments what you think. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.